Yo, TJ Miller's back on the cruise show. Real 92.3 LA is new home for hip hop. TJ! It's not the new home, it is the home of hip hop. LA's only home for hip hop. Real! 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 Real. TJ no, Miller, no uh, his merch is peanut butter and hot sauce. Is that meant to be a dual meaning? Real and real? Um, well, English in is Spanish. Spanish. You're right from the Latin language, yeah. which is they real. Have real. Real. Coming. <laughs> Wait, what happened? I was out. Did Leche talk about uh, intermittent fasting? <laughs> what happened? Uh, How many hamburgers without buns did he finish while I was asleep? <laughs> yeah, well, they all meaning burgers. sort of royalty, right? He found a couple days ago, and uh, he uh, he held on to these burgers, and now he's turning them into his meal prep. So yeah. check it out. So they Let's catered lunch on Monday, okay. and there was a ton of patties left. Me being the survivor that I am, I was like, I'm going to set a few patties to the side, yeah. and that's Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday lunch. And I, they had spinach. They had like little side stuff. Yeah, quinoa. that's a good call, man. I do the burger and a bun. Yeah, I like right? So right, I, right? I, I was able to meal prep for the whole week for free. That's what you got to do, man. <laughs> do you also You're still TJ. grinding. It doesn't matter. <laughs> right. He's window shopping for Mercedes and then putting hamburger patties in his pockets Listen, before he leaves. <laughs> this is how the rich stay rich. He got patties in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Patty pants. Yeah. How are you with your money? I mean, you know, you have this great career, right? Are you like Leche? Are you, are you in survivor mode? Or do you splurge and take care of yourself? i got to be honest. Right now, I'm in survivor mode. I have been since the pandemic, man. Yeah. But I do it the same way. I do weird stuff where I'm... I'm feeling like, you know, I'm feeling a, a Starbucks cup with chicken salad, and then I put that on top <laughs> from the airline club. And yes. I had a, yes. They say, would you like to purchase anything while you're on the plane? No, I just want you to turn away while I <laughs> right, right. Don't scoop, look. while I drink chicken salad. <laughs> So as to save that $12 at the airport. Oh, God, I love that. And then I'll go that. buy cognac on the way over here. I'm sorry. Right for four hundred dollars. Yeah, man, I've seen a lot Leche of people. Leche won't with money. drink it because it's got too many calories. <laughs> it's got some sugar. What about in if it I put it in your pocket? I've seen a lot of people, TJ, with money, and they and they do these things that save them a lot of money. When there's free food, why not take some home with you as well? Yeah, experience costs. No, I'm <laughs> right, okay, I'm, right. a, I'm okay with that. I think if you're going to go on a trip, something like that, anything for your girl. If it's not material, you know, you don't buy. Your girl a bag because that's you know that that'll put you in good graces. Do something romantic, you know what I mean? What's sure. the most romantic thing you've done for your? Okay, do you want to hear this? Yeah. Okay, it's also a practical joke. All right, are you okay. guys ready? Let's go for one. We oh love bundles God. here. Yeah, it's a bun. That's right, it's bundles. Um, so, I my family uh, suffers from uh, like this degenerative disease. Um, in it's a it's called muscular degeneration, mm -hmm. and so it's a degenerative disease that is your eye. So my great uncle went blind except for his peripheral vision. So when he was watching television, he'd have to like put it to the right side of him, and that's the only way he could see it. Wow. Okay? Yeah, it's pretty nuts. And so my father has some of that. My grandmother suffered from it. So I went to the optometrist, and after I went, I had this idea, and I called Kate. And I said, Kate, listen, uh, I got some pretty heavy news at the optometrist, so I want to get together tonight and just talk about it. And she's like, okay, well, what was it? And I'm like, I just, I, I'd like to wait and, and you know talk about it with you in person. So then I went and I got, um, I got this really, like all these nice cheeses and a little thing of caviar and oh like champagne. And so we were on the terrace, and I was sort of like giving her all this stuff and being romantic. And then she's finally like, well, what is this? Were you going to talk to me about the news? And I said, yeah. I just wanted to have like one great night before you heard all this. That's why I like splurged on the caviar and everything. And she's like, okay, what is it? And I was like, well, so I went to the optometrist, and you know about macular degeneration. But she said that, you know, it started early with me, but it's going to be, it's actually not macular degeneration. It's just, it's something else. But slowly, I'll only be able to see the focal point of what I'm looking at. Uh -huh. So let's say I look at you, then thing, I won't be able to sort of see what's around you. Or let's say it's you and mm -hmm. a table and a chair or something. We will see that, but everything sort of blurs. And that'll continue that eventually when I look at you, it'll just sort of all be blurry. And so the optometrist said to me that I'll, I'll only have eyes for you. I only have eyes for you. Oh, wow. Stop. There that he is. So That's my there guy. He is. Oh. And I got to tell you, she was so 
fucking pissed. <laughs> she was like, what did you do? How could you? You freaked me out. She was so like totally, totally out there with it. But no, she loved it. It's just well, no, like. You set it up so like the, the optometrist gave you three weeks to live. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, exactly. She's like, your eyes will be dead in three. Uh, no, so I, that was the most romantic thing, but also a pretty heavy practical joke. But I like doing <laughs> yeah. that stuff. Like when I give her gifts, I'll scare her at the same time. So, like, she wanted an iPad, and I just hid behind the fridge. And then she looked at me, and she's like, TJ, where are you? I just go, and I go, that's Generation 2! You know, and, and she's like, oh, my God, thank you! You know, so it's, it's really fun to see somebody grateful and also fearing for their life. Right, oh, right, 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 right. I call right. it skifting. Yeah, skifting. You're scaring someone while you're gifting. It's skifting. But, Jay, you can do that. This way you see you go, all of ah, the extra hamburger patties! <laughs> Ah, my Thursday and Friday meal prep. <laughs> I got it for free. <laughs> that's hilarious. It's a lot of fun so going. So yeah, down. that's 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 the room. What's the most romantic thing you've done? Uh, or your best practical job? Uh, 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 let you. Are you a romantic guy? Nah, for sure, for the right girl, for sure. Uh, oh boy. Made uh. She goes mixtapes. 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 I I remember. Do you have a mixtape that you were one girl that you're particularly proud of? It. You're like, oh, this is. Bangers back to back. I think Evelyn, Evelyn Lopez. Evelyn oh, Lopez. Said the whole, what a class the whole name. name. Yeah. Evelyn I, I, Lopez. I mean, looking back at it now, it's silly, but I remember I wrote her a letter. And yeah. I was always like into music and recording. Yeah, that's and not silly. I read, you write her a song I, I, or a poem? I read the letter to her. And I bounced it out to an MP3 and I burned it into the CD. That was the intro to the mixtape. Oh my, oh my God, that God. is lame. I was like, I was like, you read a woman a letter. That's so nice. But I love that you were on it. That that was the precursor and, and went, to looking look at you now. Yeah, and look I dropped it off in my bicycle. Really? Wow. So you see, Evelyn. That sounds like a. You were hearing the voice plot. of a soon-to-be radio personality. <laughs> Where is Evelyn Leche, now? Leche, nonstop. Uh, happy. Fasting. She's happy. She got two houses. Uh, two houses. Two yeah. Houses? Yeah. Smart girl. Know. She she got a career and stuff. So Leche also uh, counts Lopez. your money as well and and, and checks your pockets to yeah. see how you're doing in life. <laughs> Yeah. So how's she doing? Oh, she's got two houses. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You did go straight to that. You were like, well, she's married. She's got a nice family. No, she's a millionaire. I know that's what it is. Yeah. Teenage millionaire. Dear Teenage Jonah year. is available on YouTube. Dear Jonah, funny special man. And yeah. what a what a what a special, right? I mean, you're on stage and there's a heckler, which happens in comedy a lot. Yeah. Turns out it wasn't a heckler. It was Jonah who has special needs. Yeah, he's sort of a... And you named uh, a special after him. He's challenged. I did. It was going to be called the uh, Pandemic Special. Yeah. It was going to be all the material that I'd done during the pandemic. Mm. And then all of a sudden, this he who I thought was a heckler interrupted me and I asked him about his cargo <laughs> pants and he gives this very detailed explanation of why he doesn't carry things in cargo pockets in the cargo pants, <laughs> but he likes wearing cargo pants even though he doesn't carry anything in the pockets. Right. And then everybody in the audience is like, okay, this guy's not drunk. <laughs> it's a different thing altogether. This is different, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then he interrupted again and I kind of incorporated him in the show. Yeah. And then, you know, a little bit later he said something. So the show kind of slowly became about him and so it's really fascinating because all in the moment I didn't plan any of this stuff it would have been weird if I did I've had a couple people be like so did you plan him in the audience I was yeah. like no man <laughs> No, absolutely not. So yeah, I saw somebody in the comments was like, "This, this must have been planned." It's like, yeah. no, this was organic. It's totally organic. It is absolutely not planned, and uh, it's a great special. It's like the best yeah, example of me right now that I'm the type of dude who loves, like I care, Cruz cares, mm -hmm. my man, you know, and um, and so I, uh, you know, that's me. But I also will go off script you know, totally off of my material and be completely in the moment, you know? Yeah. And then also it's just sort of my stand-up because I mix my actual stand-up into that. People need to know that I have been doing stand-up and that's kind of how I started. Yeah, so it's no. a really, it's a nice, like, uh, example of what I'm doing right now. TJ, you got great. a great career, man, and I'm watching Dear Jonah and I'm watching you on stage and I almost envy how comfortable you are uh, and ready for anything that comes your way once you're on that stage. It's crazy. It's yeah. so cool to see. Well, I started off as an improviser, and it just, it is kind of, not a lot of comics, like, I talked to this about a couple comics who just said, I would have said, get this guy out of here. Right. Oh I God. mean, really. Sure, sure, They yeah. kind of were like, 
Oh, all right. Uh, there, Lecce was going to have some cognac. He was like, no, 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 I just, I want you to have more TJ. <laughs> Open up. It's like somebody with an eating disorder uh, serving you a third slice of cake. <laughs> You're just kind of like, I guess I'll be okay with this. Um, so uh, it's, it's something where other comics would have said, you know what, uh, we got to stop the show right now. We're going to have to ask this guy to leave. I'm sorry, sir. But the thing is, I wouldn't do that in a real show. I would have done exactly what I did. Yeah. So I sure as hell am not going to do it in the special. Mm -hmm. And so I think it just, it was sort of ended up being perfect. Mm -hmm. And after the show, I think other people also would have been like, that's okay, we're filming for, we'll use what we can from that. Mm -hmm. As I was getting off stage, I was like, I think that's the special. And then the director ran around and he's like, I'm going to make a case that this should be the special. And Kate was there and she was like, yeah, I think this, this is, is kind of yeah. the special. And that's why it was Dear Jonah too, because he kind of gave me this crazy gift by being there and like also being so funny. Mm -hmm. He has the funniest line in the whole show. He and I do something at the end, which mm -hmm. is the closer. And it, that's so insane. And so it's just unlike anything else, and I'm really excited about it. And, you know, you have to – it's interesting. Now, and we talked about this, and Jeff doesn't really care about me or consider me a friend. <laughs> I consider him my well, best friend, about? I guess. I can, I can say it in Real 92.3, yes. the, the forever home of hip-hop. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, he was saying he, he only wanted to watch two and a half minutes of it and he was going <laughs> to space that o out over the next couple months. No, no. But the thing about it is, is that, um, uh, is we that over the white it's, claw joke, it's man. so, it's so, I know, it's so hard to get that time. So I just keep telling people, like, take some time, take four, it's only 45 minutes long. It's not okay. an hour. Mm -hmm. And so watch the whole thing because it really, the progression from the beginning to the end. It's really awesome. But um, yeah, I just, I keep mentioning it because like, I want people to discover it because when they see it, they're always like, oh, I told my friend about it because it was just, it's just crazy. Absolutely. Yeah. You want to tell somebody about it. And that's what we're doing now, man. Yeah. We're Dear trying Jonah. to spread the word. It's on Dear YouTube. Jonah. And we're also talking Cruise Cares. Cruise soon, Cares, right? man. You're always, uh, you're always down to help. You're always, uh, I think uh, one year you bought your own toys. The, that's correct. Uh, right. Your own action figures. <laughs> yeah, off they're of a little eBay pricey, man. To <laughs> that's a Dino's. <laughs> He's right. Thank you for doing that, man. And you autographed them as well, man. I absolutely did. I wanted to, what I was thinking, though, is I don't know how we'll do this, but I think anybody that pledges to send in, you know, a very generous amount of toys for the drive, yeah. we'll give them a free set of peanut butter and a free set oh, of hot cool. sauce. Yeah, man. Wow. You just got to say, you know, it doesn't even have to be, I'm going to spend this much money, but I'm going to bring a Santa sack size uh, gift of, of sort of toy generosity. Then I want to send you some hot sauce and some peanut butter to whoever does that. So oh, however cool. you guys want to yeah, get great. that thing done. Yeah, Garcia's uh, all over certain that people, butter, man. certain people in the uh, in the studio are not included in that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. TJ Miller is here. Uh, Dear sure, Jonah is on YouTube. Watch it for free. It's a fire comedy special. Constant peen. Um, <laughs> One thing that we were talking about off air uh, here a few days ago is we love your jokes about white people. Nobody makes fun of white people like you do. It's and so, God, do I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. I love it. Well, I like making fun of everybody. But especially right now, it's like if you really want to punch upwards, I'm kind of talking about And it's funny because I, I say whites. But I'm whites. really making yeah. fun of certain kinds of whites. It's very like Chris Rock. What kind of egg whites? <laughs> whites. What's that? What kind of egg whites are you talking about? Yeah, I'm talking about all the whites. Um, no, just kind of especially like the precious whites. And so I'm making fun of those people that kind of don't. But it's so weird because I can't do it everywhere. I'm, I'm open to it. But I can't do the whites material in certain places of the country because for reals, they're like... Um, hey, why are you talking bad about us? Don't we? Hey, don't we get enough from the modern media? Right, okay? oh right, God. sure. We, we've, we're, you know what? We're sick of being on the short end of the stick of this race thing. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't know what it is to be made fun of all the time. Right, exactly. But all the, all of us women are Karens, and you know that, <laughs> that's a slur. You know, but it's. I really do mean that's kind of their mentality. Where Connecticut so, or Vermont? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the two. Actually, the East Coast is a little bit better. It's Oklahoma. It's oh, okay. yeah. it's North Carolina. Ooh. It's 
It's some. It's Florida. It's where the whites I mean, let's live. Let's be honest. Yeah. It's it where the Florida. whites live, man. It's where they breed the whites. I think. I think Texas, not as much, but that would be an example really? of people that kind of wouldn't. But you know, I say I can't do it everywhere. It's like I'll do it and push the envelope in a lot of places. Yeah. And then there's other places I'll even start doing it, and I know immediately they're like, "What do you mean whites? What right. are you like yeah. trying to say about that?" Right. But it is to me, it is funny, and you've got to. And it's not a, oh, I like, a you know, all the whites. We like a cheese sandwich, don't we? <laughs> but it is like shelling. Pistachios with the shells on is a very white thing. <laughs> like the only time I've seen black people eating uh, pistachios, they're shelled because that's that's available. That's what we should all. Yeah. But I feel like whites are like, uh-oh, there's another tough one. I, <laughs> this one's not even open. I better go get my hammer. <laughs> Like it's, you know what I mean? It's just it's this idea of so I try and like mess with all those types of things. Yeah, man. And so some people kind of be behind and others won't. I did have a section where I talk about being a maybe Jewish mm -hmm. because my mother <laughs> is adopted, Jewish. so sure. we don't know if she's Jewish, and that's how you know you're Jewish. So I talk about being a maybe oh Jewish, God. and then I tell some Jewish jokes, and I say, well, maybe it's offensive, yeah, and not okay, or maybe it's fine. You know, because I'm a maybe Jewish, and I, I after you after, identify Kanye, maybe after Kanye Jewish? West, I'm not doing that material. Oh, right God, now. Right. taking it easy on that material. Oh God, right? But that I'm, I'm but, actually glad. You know, I've, I've, I was really into crypto. I still am into the blockchain. Uh -oh. But I'm glad that uh, this Kanye or yeah, the Kanye West thing happened, so that Chappelle. Did his sort of SNL monologue about it. Yep. And now this entire holiday, people are asking me about that, not about crypto. Uh, which is really good because crypto right now, yep. your parents are like, <laughs> hey, you yeah, idiot. Yeah. We told you. We told, we you, we told, told you, you idiot. <laughs> but in this case, I get to kind of talk about, because they're actually everybody is sort of, you're a comedian. How do you feel right now? Do you think you can sure. say this? Yeah. Is the world too sensitive? It's way too sensitive. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, that's way too sensitive. We just we were looking up some stuff. It's like the right is really going crazy about this this Disney movie that just didn't do well, mm -hmm. and they're kind of going, mm -hmm. yeah, get woke, go broke. I guess is a new thing that the right is saying, which oh, means boy. if you're too woke, you lose us, and then you're not going to get any of the money. It's interesting, and it is actually mm. sort of true from their perspective. Yeah, but that's how sensitive we are that we've gotten this like. The other side is just like, we don't get anything you say that's positive about any of these groups or anything. That's woke. You're you're going broke, you know? Yeah. And so it's just, it's a lot of that. Does that affect your acting as well? Does that affect scripts and movie roles? Yeah. But you know what? I'm working on something right now. We were talking about that actually today. Um, and that is that we don't want to, this next movie that I'm doing, we want, it's for everybody. Yeah. So we don't want to do any of that kind of stuff. Is there going to be a trans character in it? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Is that going to be a funny moment and talk about the awkward exchange of me trying to interact with this trans woman? Then yes, of course, because it's a comedy. Mm -hmm. But it's about inclusivity, but it's not about forcing that inclusivity on people. Because I don't think people have a problem with inclusivity. Mm -hmm. I think they have a problem when they feel like media is trying to tell them how they should live or mm -hmm. what yeah. they should mm -hmm. accept and how they should feel. And I kind of, I I agree with that. I don't think that we should be telling people how to live their life. Mm -hmm. We should just have representation so that everybody is like, okay, I feel like I'm a part of the conversation. Yeah. Like the trans, actually it's not might not be in the thing, but I believe that you guys will enjoy this joke. So. Um, in the movie, I'm hired as an assassin, mm -hmm. but also as a diplomat. And I'm kind of like, <laughs> okay, I need to learn how to be an assassin, obviously. I mean, look at me. But I, in the movie, I go, I work at a mall. In the movie, I go, um, what, do, what do I need? I'm a diplomatic. I'm totally a diplomatic person. Yeah. Then we just flash back, and it's me talking to like the manager of the H&M or whatever, the Forever 29. <laughs> and I'm just like, I call everyone dude. That's just like something that I do. If I had yeah, a wife, yeah. I would call her dude. You know, I call my mom dude. I do that. And then the camera flips around and the manager is like a trans woman. And she's like, well, I don't identify as a dude anymore. Oh, okay. Okay. And I'm like, that's fine. That's why I'm never going to call you a dude again. Okay. I'm not going to do it. Are we good here? And she's like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And thank you for listening to me. And I'm like, all right. 
Okay, cool, man. Well, I'll t- oh, no, <laughs> no, right? And so, and so that no matter what you say, so that but that so cool. that's a joke cool, about man. that's that's a joke about a couple yeah. of things. Yeah. It's you know it's funny in a couple different ways, but it's about how hard it is to say the right thing. Mm-hmm. But it's about and you know my character is listening and I'm sort of respecting her by being like I'm not gonna. But we're making fun of woke people there. We're making fun of people who are trying to sort of be inclusive, but just are still in the paradigm where it's because I do call my wife dude. <laughs> Lately, she's almost right, started calling right. me bro. I don't yeah, call anybody my bro. My son calls I... his mom, my wife, bro. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Come on, bro. He's Leave like, me alone. Bro, spaghetti again? Yeah, <laughs> come on, bro. Get out of <laughs> get out of my room, bro. Oh, where are my mom. shoes, bro? Yeah, come on, bro. You're being embarrassing, bro. <laughs> my kids call me bro. Bro, uh, yeah. bro, yeah. come bro. on, bro. I feel like bro, dude, bro is all just like gender neutral at this point. At this it point, is, guys, exactly. you're right. I think mean, I mean, the one thing I may never be able to do is not say. So, what are you guys doing after this? If there is a girl, yeah, I will. Oh, this if you is a walk funny up story. to a group of ladies, you say, "Hey, guys." Yeah, the, and I don't know. So, and I, I mean, I guess some women will at some point. But the first time I had that, I did a meet and greet in. Forget maybe it's it San Jose, I think. Would you guys help me? I like sold that place out completely. For sure. And this girl comes up. San Jose is like right outside of Silicon Valley, so, oh, just, so you know people dr- drive in from San Francisco, but also San Jose has just become and that um, San Francisco mentality, yeah. kind of, which is just like woke and irritating to a certain extent <laughs> and um, I love that I'm like watching my step. Like San Francisco, I think you can be. A bit of a pussy, okay? Right. Uh, <laughs> and so, so, um, so I'm like talking to these people in the meet and greet. It's fine. I, I just love. It's so interesting to me. So this girl goes, um, "Hey, I thought you know, I thought that was really, really funny. Like it was just such a great time. And you know, something about maybe I followed your stand up, and it was great to see you live because I know most people come to see you as an actor. And I just go, I'm like, ah, oh, thanks, man. I really appreciate that. And she's like, I'm not a man. Oh boy. And I was like, and I go, I know. And she was like, I'm a woman. And I was like, I know. <laughs> and then it was just like this moment where, like, she was like, I guess, did I make a point? And I was kind of like, what happened? <laughs> like, it didn't, there was no. Because thanks, cause, woman, doesn't sound or well, feel right. Well, I think also lady. she knew yeah, that hey, she, <laughs> she knew that she was kind of being weird about it. Because yeah. I don't think that she's. And what I would have done, what I not should have, but I might do this. What I could have done, Leche, <laughs> what I could have done is taken one of my hamburger patties out of my left pocket. <laughs> my left pocket. Uh, and I said, you know, I could have just been like, well, I know you're not a man. Why is that bad if I call you a man? Is there something right, wrong right. with being a man? Like, is being a man sort of less than being a woman? Is that an insult to you that I called you a man? Because you can call me a woman because I think it's equal. So if you want to say thank you, woman, I'd be happy for you to say that because I believe that women and men are equal, okay? Now, do you want some hamburger pocket patty or what? Uh, Yes. Dear Jonah is on YouTube. Respect. <laughs> you got Leche respect, man. I got Leche. Leche, pour me another cognac. Dear I, Jonah I on YouTube, it's a free watch. Uh, like TJ that. Miller does not have a website. Is the website. Peanut butter, hot sauce is Going the official to merch. Going to the person who really pledges to give a Santa sack full yeah, of man. toys to Cruz and the crew who all care. Thank you. Yes. Um, yeah, we'll ship We'll ship it direct. So really? Garcilia. Yeah, you guys keep these for here. Don't let Thank Constantine you, have any of it. No, <laughs> Constantine. <laughs> Constantine. We better let him in here. He's yeah, got to try it. for you, okay? He's you Russian. You can try it. You can try it, but then you have to denounce your homeland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> denounce your homeland? <laughs> Yo, T.J. Miller <laughs> is out of control. That's why we love him, man. Oh, T.J. God. Miller does not have a website. Dot com. <laughs> uh, on YouTube. Yeah, uh, Teenage dear Jonah, Millionaire. Free. Teenage not Millionaire. TJ Miller. Yeah, not T.J. Miller on TikTok. All of it. But yep. find me, get into it. Oh, but yeah, yeah, most of all, dear Jonah. And then mm-hmm. I'll be in Irvine, California in January. Let's pull up those exact nice. dates. Office Christmas party available as well for streaming. It's a yeah. great Christmas yeah. movie. Really it that really time of is year. that time of year. Yes, sir. Yeah. Pull it that, up. Let's yeah. go. Do that and underwater. That's another mm-hmm. great Christmas. <laughs> no, yes, just sir. kidding. <laughs> it's not a Christmas. It is a good movie, man. So in the next year, 2023, which I might not see you guys. For um, 
the rest of the year. So well, ahead of time, yeah. Merry Christmas. Yes. And Happy New Year. Happy and I will be Hanukkah. Happy Baby Happy Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Hanukkah. Oh, uh, Hanukkah. Uh, that's a little. That's a little Hanukkah. Would that be it? Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Uh, so Irvine Improv, the thirteenth, the fourteenth, mm-hmm. and the fifteenth of January. Okay. Let's go. Oh, Mid January. Let's, let's go. go. Shows are gonna sell out. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, get into it. So buy tickets now. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Yes, sir. Um, but guys, thank you so much. Love and, you, man. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Uh, Feliz Navidad. Um, A ustedes y sus familias. Happy Hanukkah. Shalom. Happy Hanukkah. Uh-huh. Happy Gracias. Hanukkahita. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Y nos vemos en el próximo año. There he is. Oh. There he is. Okay. My guy. Just the tiniest. <laughs> TJ Miller. Crew Show. Though. Real 92.3. Yo, check out more of our YouTube interviews now. ASAP Plus. Download the free iHeartRadio app so you can check out the Crew Show podcast.